talking about the quintessential mechanism of evolution, hence life itself, natural selection. I hate myself. <laughs> Mr. Green, Mr. Green, is this going to be another boring lectures video about how we went from being apes to smartphone junkie humanoids? Because I'd rather just be hanging out with my girlfriends. Sorry, me for the past, but evolution is interesting. It's not so simple as apes all of a sudden turning into people. And face it, girls don't like you anyways. Roll the music, Stan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shane Smith, and we're here at the Vice Office working to bring you the real news of today's world. Today, we'll be taking a look at evolution. I first heard about this theory at my third grade science fair, where my teachers were arguing about the idea of natural selection, which makes this story especially personal to me. Ever since Charles Darwin, the world has been arguing about the origins of life and how we got to where we are currently. Evolution has become a hot topic in our current society. Today, we'll be going out to the field and be putting evolution to a real test. Hey, it's Mr. Anderson, and today we'll be talking about the most basic mechanism of evolution, natural selection. This is a process that is extremely important to all aspects of evolutionary biology and provides the basis for a variety of different biological sciences, such as taxonomy, genetics, etc. And together, we'll be taking a comprehensive look at the complex machinations that comprise natural selection, the striding force of all life on Earth. So without further ado, I'm John Green. I'm Mr. Anderson. And I'm Shane Smith. And, and welcome, welcome to Vice Course Science. Science. First and foremost, the theory of natural selection was first proposed in the late 18th century by everyone's fourth favorite white bearded man next to Mark Twain, Colonel Sanders, and Santa Claus, Charles Darwin. Darwin took part in the landmark HMS Beagle Voyage and in his travels discovered various discrepancies and unique attributes on the Galapagos Islands and used this information to formulate his own theory of natural selection in on the origin of species. <laughs> oh, it's time for the mystery document? You know how this works. I read the quote, I say the name, and if I get it wrong, I get shocked. There is grandeur in this view of life with its several powers having been originally breathed into a few forms or into one. And that, whilst this planet has gone cycling on according to the fixed law of gravity, from so simple a beginning, endless forms most beautiful and most wonderful have been, and are being, evolved. Johans Kepler! <laughs> Let's discuss the actual science behind it. Let's go to the thought bubble. So what is natural selection? Well, natural selection is the process by which organisms survive due to possession of traits that better equip them for survival. Uh, competition for food and water are among the principal drivers of natural selection. So within a population, the organisms who can outcompete others for resources due to their inherited traits are the benefactors of natural selection. All right, so for our example, uh, if we had a field, here's our green field, full of eight mice, and four of those mice were red, the green mice would be better equipped to survive, right? Because they could better camouflage themselves to avoid capture by predators. Those four green mice would be on the benefiting end of natural selection, while the red counterparts were the victims of it. So let's visualize what that would look like. Hold on, I'm getting reports that Vice Course News' Shane Smith is live with one of these mice in Yemen. We'll be there. Hi! This is the world of Vice. Hi, we're here in Yemen, and an insider has reached out to Vice Course Science for an exclusive interview. Keep in mind what we are about to show is not for the faint of heart. They are going to put a bag over my head to keep their location safe. Let's do this. Uh, uh, where's my interviewee? Ah, okay. I'm glad you could be here with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Natural selection has been causing a lot of stir in the media lately. Can you tell me how that's affecting you? 
have to be careful. We've been losing lives left and right. Thankfully, my green fur coat has helped me survive. But my friends with red fur haven't been as lucky. Can you tell me how truly devastating natural selection is? Yes. I witness the magnitude of its horrors every day. Luckily, selective pressure has directed our population to becoming far more predominantly green furred. Every day we endure, we become stronger as a family. Wow. You're just so brave. This wraps up our Vice Course Science exclusive interview with Anonymous. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh.